Hey guys, Jen here from Maine and Suds and Such. <clears throat> I'm going to be cutting, I've already did my slab, but I'm going to be cutting my um, Love Spell, my Spellbound soap. And I've already got, you guys have changed where I am doing my cutting. So you guys will have to let me know if you like this or not. So this is my mini bars that I'm going to be making and selling. So I'm going to cut these up. I weighed them and they're like two and a half ounces. So they're pretty good sized bars. And it makes nine of them. But I'm gonna, when I get those, they'll be on my Etsy site. Okay, so I'm at my kitchen table and I'm hoping there's better light. That's what I'm aiming for. But here is one of my logs. Very pretty. Austin, not in here. I'm making a video. Okay, I'm hoping. Let's see. I might. Um. I need this to be comfortable for me, but where you guys can see well. Hope that's good. Now, I got some glycerin rivers. This soap heated up pretty because I soaked warmer. And it heated up pretty good. So, that's alright. Ooh, I did the spoon swirl. You guys have to let me know if you like, oh, I almost dropped it, this spot better. Or if you want me back over on my stove. Makes no difference to me. I get to sit here. And I think the lighting is better. It's right there. Off roading with Nick's on there. It's anything. I'm loving these bars. Pretty. I need to move the mini ones out of my way. Sorry, my arm's all up in your way. Yeah, see my glycerin river in there? Not bad. I mean, I don't worry about it. Soap is still gorgeous. Still gorgeous. zoom you in some. That way I don't have to show you each individual piece as I cut it. Is that good? Not wrong way. Uh, like that? Let's see. We'll see how that works. Trial and error. How pretty is that? Pretty nifty. Of course the soap smells awesome. Oh, that's a pretty cool swirl, ain't it?
Oh, I got my nails done to go on vacation. Look at that, isn't that pretty? <laughs> I don't never really, the last time I had my nails done, I did them myself. So, I went and had them done this time. I have a pixie kitty coming back here, peeping her head up on the table. What are we doing, Pixie? Say, my mom is coming to take care of you while we are gone and to take care of the fishies and to bring in my packages. So I have several packages that will be here while we are gone. Lots of samples, lots of bars. But this is one of my most popular soaps. That's pretty. I'm really liking that. And then this one's got the pink bottom. See that? That's pretty cool. My kitchen table has turned into like my soaping, packaging, storage, all of that area. It's where I keep my log splitter and um, when I make lip balms and stuff, it's where I store them while I wrap them. And this is where I wrap all my soaps. Thank goodness we have a six-seater table. We are getting ready. I've been working on laundry. I've got two more loads to do to, and I'll have everything washed. That way I can pack a week's worth of clothes for us and the kids. So I'm almost done get this soap done. I'll get it cleaned up in a couple of hours. I always wait until it's just a couple of hours after I cut it before I clean it. Um, I just, I, I find that's the best time for me to cut, clean my soaps. Scooch you back. Some have more swirls than others, but I'm totally loving playing and working with my slab mud cutter and my slab mold. So much fun. This one is cutting a little tiny sample off. Cut those bars all just a little tiny thicker. That's okay. No big deal. Last log. Swirls are so pretty. Pretty. And I notice, you know, the swirls always come out so much prettier after I plane them. They're so more real crisp. And I, I just knocked that with my fingernail. Oops. 
Um, I got the colors pretty close to uh, my last bar. I'll show you. Um, I've got one bar. My aunt is placing a large order for her friends and stuff. She lives out of state. So I had to send her a listing of all the soaps that I, I have available. And I sent her a list of ones that I always make. And you know, of course, Love Spell was in there. And I thought I had several bars of it left. And I didn't. I only had one. And she messaged me. And so far, she had an order for three bars. I'm like, oh, crap. So, yeah. I said, I will make that my next soap that I make. Because um, it's going to be a several weeks before she finishes her order. So, um, I said, you know, I'll get that made now. And hopefully it'll be ready when she places her order. Uh. Hi, Noah. Is the kitty in the chair? So... Yeah. And I'll show you. I've had people ask how I wrap my soaps. I'll do a video of that. Um, because I do have several that I need to wrap and package, but it's going to be after we get back from vacation. I don't have time to do any of that stuff before we go. Now, what are you doing? Climbing under the table? You getting under there with the kitty? You climbing under there with Pixie Kitty? And you, no, careful. You guys definitely comment and let me know if you like this setup over here, if the lighting is better and all. Two more cuts. All right, now let me uh, grab you the bar. It's wrapped, so that you can't really tell, but the colors are um, pretty, pretty close. There it is. Hopefully you can, oh, I'm so like not, hopefully you guys can see that. I think so. Yeah, colors are pretty daggone close. So, that's my last bar of my Spellbound soap. And um, so I definitely had to make more. And this is my packaging for if anybody ever wants to know. I have the band that goes around it with my ingredients on the back. And then my logo and name on the front. And um, I put a shrink wrap band around it. because And the ends, the ends are open. So you can see and smell. Both sides are open. That way the soap can breathe and you can smell it. But that is my packaging. And this is my new batch of my... And it, see, you can see right here how big the uh, mini soaps are. It's just like a half a bar of soap. I mean, almost a half a bar of soap. Because these weigh uh, about five, five and a half ounces after cure. And these are like two and a half ounces now. So they'll be like at least two ounces when they're cured and after I clean them up. Well, here's one that I cleaned up of the... Um, Uh-oh, somebody spilt water. This is how big it is after I clean it up. Which this one has the textured top. But you can see thickness wise, it's a little bit thinner and the edges are all rounded. But. All right, so thank you guys for watching. We will come back for the next video. It'll be a couple weeks, but we'll talk to you soon.